Hello, today we're going to be reading Oscar and Who, written by Theo, illustrated by Michael Dudok DeWitt. Oscar sits at his bedroom window, dreaming. He looks out at the clouds and the rain and the thunder that have come between him and the sky. He sighs and dreams of somewhere high, up above the clouds and below the stars. This is the best place for his dreams. Come on, Oscar, wake up! Get your head out of the clouds, we're late! Where's the rucksack and the sun cream, the maps and the passports? Oscar yawns and stretches. It's the holidays. Chaos and confusion as usual. Oscar and his parents are going on a very long journey and everything is such a rush. Suddenly, he is all alone. Mom? Dad? Where are you? Help! No one answers. Tears roll down Oscar's cheeks as he shouts again and again. Are his parents behind that dune or that one? Oscar runs, but he's alone between the sand and the burning sky, and he's afraid. Oscar shouts again, but he hears neither an echo nor a reply. Just then, a voice whispers to him. Little boy, why are you raining? Oscar looks round, but there is no one there. Who said that? Help! I'm lost! The desert is too big for a little boy like me. And the sky is too big for a little cloud like me, says the voice. Oscar looks up, and there, just above him, he sees a single lonely cloud. Who are you? demands Oscar. I am who, and I've lost my flock, says the little cloud. I'm Oscar, and I've lost my parents. As Oscar replies, he feels some drops of water falling on his head. Why are you raining, who? Asked Os asks Oscar. Because I'm sad and lonely like you, says who. What shall we do, cries Oscar. I want to go home. Maybe I can help, says who. From up here, I can see everything. I can look for your parents and I can give you shade and tell you about my friends, the birds, and our long journeys over land and sea. And I'll tell you about my dreams, says Oscar, and about my parents, who are always forgetting things. And so Oscar and Who set off. They begin their search and they tell each other everything. As night falls, Oscar is scared of the dark, so Who changes into funny shapes to make him laugh. At last, Oscar sleeps and Who watches over him, but the sky in Oscar's dreams is full of heavy black clouds. Next morning, when Oscar wakes, he's hungry and thirsty. Who, can you rain for me, please, so I can drink? But if I rain all my tears, I'll vanish, says Who sadly. When he hears this, Oscar starts crying. He thinks about his lost parents and about poor Who, who cannot cry. Who comes closer and wraps himself around Oscar. Look, Oscar, your tears have made me grow again, he shouts. Oscar manages to smile, but asks through his tears, Who, will I ever find my parents? So who climbs up over the dunes, higher and higher into the sky, and looks far into the distance? Suddenly, he sees something, and, catching a breath of wind, he flies nearer. And yes, he's sure. He shouts, Oscar, quick, over here! Oscar runs as fast as he can, without stopping, without looking back, towards the something that who can see. Mom? Dad? Is that you? Yes! Yes, Oscar, we found you at last! His parents rush towards him and they all hug each other tight. Who watches from above and he can't help crying with happiness? Back home, Oscar slowly recovers. His parents promise they will never lose him again. Oscar returns to his window. He stares at the sky, dreaming. And he smiles. Who? Promise you'll never leave me? You're the best friend I've ever had. Oscar, I give you my cloud's word. I'll never leave you. You're the best friend I've ever had. Oscar and Who go everywhere together, but they don't tell anyone. 
it's their secret. And whenever Oscar is told that he's got his head in the clouds, he laughs out loud. Wouldn't you? The end. And that's it for today's episode of Storytime with Jen. We will see you tomorrow.